so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this breaking animation in the blender with the help of the self fracture add-on so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial so here you can see guys here i open my blender and uh, this is our project file basically so first one i'm just going to play this animation once more so you can exactly get what we are going to make in this video so here you can see we are going to make this thing in this video so make sure you watch this video till end so first of all i'm just going to delete this sphere okay so i'm just going to select this sphere and going to delete it okay and make sure to delete this collection also yeah that's it okay and apart from that i'm not going to delete anything because we need uh, this uh, floor as well and this uh, teapot as well okay so i'm not going to waste your time to making these and set up these lighting and something at all okay so first of all uh, i'm just going to enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing so yeah from here I'm, i have already enabled by the way okay so first of all i'm just going to add the one uv sphere here pressing the shift a i'm just going to add the uv sphere i'm just going to keep it here and i'm just going to move it here and uh, make sure you can match this uv sphere from this teapot view by the way yeah that's look fine i'm just going to scale a little bit and after scale make sure you apply the scale pressing the control a and then i'm just going to add the subdivision surface modifier pressing the control 2 and then i'm just going to use this shade smooth as well okay so first of all i'm just going to add one material here which is i have already created so here you can see we have that red rusted kind of uh, material here okay this is totally procedural material by the way and if you want a tutorial so i can make this tutorial on it so you can just let me know in the comment box i will definitely make the video if you want and after that i'm just going to break this spare first of all so for breaking this spare i'm just going to use one default add-on it's called self fracture okay which is blender default add-on so if you want to enable this add-on you have to just go to edit preference and from here you have to just search the only cell fracture you will see something like that you have to just enable from the here and that's it okay so after that you have to just go your object setting and from the quick effects you will see the cell fracture you have to just enable it okay so when you enable it you will see a new dialog box so here you will see lots of settings so uh, right now i'm not going to define each and everything by the way but uh, what we are going to use basically i'm just going to tell you here so from the point source we are going to use the by default which is select the uh, own particle options and we are going to use uh, some uh, different material from outside and inside so outside we have already so for the inside we'll use the uh, uh, different material by the way we are making one new collection from here and rest of thing we are not going to change anything so first of all we are going to make a one different material for the inside part so for making this different material i'm just going to press the from the plus icon here and i'm just going to create a new material and I'm just going to set this name as a inside okay inside that's it and then I'm just going to increase the metallic value one and decrease little bit roughness value so here you can see it's look here you can see by the way this is the preview I think that's look fine to me okay so first of all we need one particle system in our scene so for that I'm just going to my particle setting and from here I'm just going to create one new particle and if i will play the animation here you can see our particle is going to falling down very nicely so first of all i'm just going to change this emit from the uh, volume so now here you can see it will emit from the inside if i will go to inside these particles are emitting from the inside okay that's fine for me now i'm just going to again this object and then quick effect just going to click on the self fracture then i'm just going to set the source uh, limit to the 1000 because our particle number of particle is also 1000 just going to click it and then i'm just going to change this material to one and now i'm just going to uh, add one new collection its name is new parts okay and i'm just going to change this mass to the uniform and apart from that you don't need to change anything you have to just click the okay it will take a little bit time it's break this cube very nicely and here you can see we have a new part uh, collection also automatic created because we select this new part collection from this uh, self-fraction add-on section okay 
and now what I'm going to do first of all I'm just first of all I'm just going to delete this original shape of this pair here you can see this is the original shape I'm just going to delete it first of all then I'm just going to select all these uh, pieces of spare then, okay and then you have to just go to again and from the rigid body section now you will see the add active I'm just going to click the add active and after that I'm just going to select this plane and I'm just going to add the rigid body add uh, passive and for this teapot I'm just going to add same rigid body add passive okay but here you can see right now it's going to uh, out of our camera so first one I'm just going to select this sphere and then I'm just going to move it little bit down yeah something like that okay so now I'm just going to play the animation but before playing the animation make sure you go your scene property and from the uh, rigid body section make sure you bake your animation from here okay so I'm just going to bake it once so it's baking here you can see and it's almost done okay so if I will play the animation so you will see something like that here you can see that's look great by the way okay so that's how you can create uh, this breaking animation in the blender with the help of this self fracture add-on okay which is looking cool by the way I have used this only spare you can use any kind of object whatever you want to break whatever you want to demolish okay it's up to you so here you can see that's look cool by the way okay so right now i just bake only 150 frame you can bake it more than 150 frame okay it's depend up to you so 154 fine for me that's why i baked okay and don't worry about these cracks okay it will not gonna see in, see you uh, after the render okay it's only showing in the viewport only and one thing i just want to tell you here you can see when it's going to break it so from the inside material whatever material we have created from the here here you can see it's showing very nicely here by the way okay so make sure you create also one inside material so that look more uh, organic more realistic so here you can see this is the final one by the way which is I have added okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys